The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. Everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they take you before synagogues and before rulers and authorities, do not worry about how or what your defense will be or about what you are to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that moment what you should say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. By the reading of the Gospel, may our sins be forgiven. Whoever, whoever acknowledges me, Jesus says, I will acknowledge. Whoever denies me, I will deny. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, basically it means confessing our faith in Christ, not just with our lips, but with our very life. And this is our Lord Jesus' challenge for us in today's gospel. The question is, are we willing to take up his challenge? Do we have what it takes to confess our faith in Christ, not just with our lips, but with our life? That means confessing our faith in Christ wholeheartedly. Isn't that what it means to love the Lord our God? with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our strength. You know, as a priest, this has been a constant challenge for me, especially in fulfilling my priestly ministry. About 15 years ago, I could remember vividly one challenging moment when I was asked, to anoint a sick person here in Metro Manila. So I was brought to a slum area. You know, after a very long walk in a squatter's area, we arrived. And the house, I could hardly recognize as a house because it looked more like a cage or a garbage area. At doon nakahiga ang lalaking may sakit. Alam niyo po na talagang nakakaawa. And the smell of stench was just too much to bear. Na parang masusuka na po ako. Ako pa naman very sensitive when it comes to smell. But I tried so hard, really hard, to bear it while anointing the sick man out of pity out of empathy for his situation. Nakaya ko po. And you know, afterwards, it felt so fulfilling on my part to have overcome the inconvenience and the difficulty. That's why for me, it was a challenging moment to confess my faith in Christ as a priest. You know, there are many inconveniences and difficulties or sufferings 
in taking up Christ's challenge. At times, we may even be called to risk our life, just like during the time of pandemic. You know, I was a chaplain there in a private hospital in Roja City, and I had to do rounds of anointing the sick. And one time, by mistake, I was able to anoint a patient with COVID, and that was risky. And I think every time I anointed a sick person in that hospital was a real risk. And we have seen that in our saints, especially in our holy martyrs. And that would, of course, include our beloved patroness, Santa Maria Goretti, who offered their very lives for their faith in Christ. You know, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, at such times, we will, be, we will find it very difficult. But it is not impossible with the grace of God. By our human capacity alone, of course, we cannot do it. Hindi po natin kaya. Kailangan natin ng grasya ng ating Panginoon. We need God's grace to master enough courage and commitment to lay down our life for Christ. And when we have courageously and wholeheartedly confessed Christ with our very life, then as St. Paul assures us in the first reading, we shall have the riches of glory to inherit in the next life. Because we have acknowledged Christ in this life, therefore, as our Lord Jesus himself assures us, he will acknowledge us in the next life in his kingdom. My dear brothers and sisters, let us beg the Lord to grant us more courage and generosity to bear witness to Christ every day, not just with our lips, but with our very life. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in peace. Thanks be to God.